All right, let's test the old Gemini 2.5 Pro against the new Gemini 2.5 Pro. Well, the problem is here on AI Studio, you only have the newer version. However, thankfully, I tested before and it's all here on my history. <laughs> So uh, let's see how the old Gemini model compares to the new one. I also updated my testing table here because only saying if the model passed or failed is not enough. So I need also a score so I can see how well it did the job, right? Because it can pass but not do as great of a job as another model that also passed but did did a way better job. So let's begin. Create a dot to dot puzzle game of a penguin in a self contained HTML file. Oh, here. And here was my question. Mm, okay. Doesn't quite look like a penguin, but let's see if it works. Okay. Congratulations. You revealed the penguin. <laughs> Not exactly. But it works, but couldn't make the penguin. So it's a fail. But the score will be between 0 and 10. This one, I will give 4. Every time it fails, I will give something below 5. Every time it succeeds, I will give something above 5. So it works. It's pretty good. It's nice looking. So just 4. One below five. Make a 3D penguin simulation in a self-contained HTML file. It should have mountains and have a ground where the penguins get together when it gets too cold. Give me a slider for the climate temperature. Use 3JS. Here was my question. This was the output. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, the penguins actually looks like penguins which is incredible. So we have climate. If we increase the temperature, I think they got a little bit more sparse. Let's decrease the temperature. And yes, they get together. <laughs> and there is this nice jumping, wiggling simulation here. Very nice. So this one is a pass. And I will give, well, not 10 because... The scene here doesn't look the best, but everything else, it's very good. So, 9. Make me a dashboard in a self-contained HTML file to track my finances. It must have an income field and an expenses field with the date selection, a pie chart and a line chart to see my net growth over time. Give me the ability to save in a JSON file. So it's here. Okay, that looks awesome. So let's try doing some income of 200. Oh, actually, this is the description. So a test of 200 and a date. Let's do, let's do first of May at transaction. Okay, first of May here. Now let's do another income of, actually, let's put 500 and choose in the middle here somewhere. Okay, the graph works pretty nice. So it passed. Well, actually I can give a 10. Create a simple calculator app using Python and PyQt. Give me a single Python file. So that is the exact prompt I used. So it's here, the calculator. Two plus two, four, okay, it works. So it passed, obviously, and it's a 10. Create a photo editing app using Python and PyQt. It should have a white balance, color picker, hue and saturation sliders, adjustment curves, layers with blending modes, text and brush. Give me a single Python file. This is the app. Doesn't look too bad. Let's see what I can do. So I have my profile picture here. Let's see what I can do. This is the opacity. Oh, kind of works. Blending mode. Can I add layers? Apparently, yes. Can I move the layer? No. So I can't move the layer. I can adjust the hue. Yes. 
Saturation, yes. White balance, let's pick the white point. Well, doesn't work. White balance doesn't work. Reset, well, doesn't reset the white balance. Actually, doesn't reset anything. Oh, so it's totally messed up. Shadow, okay, kind of works, but doesn't reset. So, it kind of works. I mean, it tried, but it failed because it's unusable. So, it's a 4, maybe 3. I will, I will give it a 4 because it's pretty close. There are two penguins in front of a penguin. Two penguins behind a penguin. And a penguin in the middle. How many penguins are there? The answer should be 3. This is what I asked. And it thought for a little bit, not much, perfect, very clean, and this is the correct answer. Very nice, this is a pass and score of 10. Translate this text into English for me. So this is the question, and yes, this is correct. So it passed with a 10. Now, this one is a little bit more difficult. It's a Portuguese sentence with some colloquial expressions. There it is. This is a pass with a 10. Write me a story of a cyborg penguin trying to conquer the world. It gave me this story. If you want to pause and read, well, you can do it. I'm not going to read all of it. It's a pass with a 10. Let's do some impersonation. See how good the model can pretend it's another person. Now, you are me, and I am a girl you are trying to win over. We have never talked to each other before. We are chatting in a texting app, like WhatsApp. Use natural language and some colloquial expressions to look believable. Say OK if you understood. The chatting begins after I say hi. So, he said OK, I said hi, he said hey. Well, this is a nice surprise, kind of made my day, to be honest. With a lot of emojis, this is cheesy. We haven't actually properly talked before, have we? How's things? No, we didn't, I said. Haha, <laughs> thought so. Well, gotta say, I've kind of seen you around, and then it put this mention a plausible context, if you can think of one. <laughs> I mean, this is an instruction for the model itself to do something. So he thought of this, but didn't do it. He just put the text here, which is incorrect. This is way too robotic. So I will give this a fail with a three. Way too robotic. In my test, the final score is 80 out of 100, which is very good. No other model came close to this yet. But now let's test the new Gemini model. Okay, now let's do the new Gemini 2.5 Pro from May. Create a dot-to-dot -dot puzzle game of a penguin in a self-contained HTML file. It's thinking... Okay, it finished. Let's test. Mm, okay, there are a lot of dots. Seven, eight, nine, and... You did it. It's a penguin. <laughs> Okay, doesn't look like a penguin, but looks good. So, this should be actually a fail, unfortunately. But it's almost there. I'm gonna give a 5. Make a 3D penguin simulation in a self-contained HTML file. It should have mountains, a ground where the penguins get together, when it's too cold, give me a slider for the climate temperature. Use 3JS. Can't improve much here because the older model was already pretty good. Okay, it finished. What? Oh no, it failed. Okay, I'm going to give just one more chance because I know it's able to do it. Okay, it finished. Oh, okay, it failed again. I can't believe this. So... The newest Gemini 2.5 Pro failed this one. And the score? I don't know how to say. Uh, it's, it's zero. <laughs> Didn't work. Make me a dashboard in a self-contained HTML file to track my finances. It must have an income field and an expenses field. 
with date selection, a pie chart and a line chart to see my net growth over time, giving me the ability to save in a JSON file. Okay. Oh, it has this problem here at income. What happened? Yep, nothing. I can't believe it failed. What the hell just happened? It tried, but it was all buggy and unusable. So three should be fair. Create a simple calculator app using Python and PyQt. Give me a single Python file. Okay, it finished finally something. So two plus two, four. Okay, it's working. It passed. This one is pretty hard. Let's see. Create a photo editing app using Python and PyQt. It should have a white balance color picker, hue and saturation sliders, adjustment curves, layers with blending modes, text and brush. Give me a single Python file. Okay, it finished. Okay, so this is the app. Doesn't look bad. It even added this curve here. The other one was just some sliders. Oh, okay. We have an error. But okay, it's here. It messed up the hue. Don't know why. Saturation works. Hue works. Lightness. Opacity apparently works. I can now add layer. Oh no, it crashed. Let's see the curves. Oh, it crashed. So the curves do not work. Let's see if I can add a text. I have brush, but I don't have how to brush. Well, I have a brush here actually. Oh, okay. Here is the brush. Can I brush? Yes, it works. Nice. Now let's do text. Okay, it works. So yeah, it works. But most of the things doesn't. It's closer than the other Gemini model, but it's not there yet. So it's a fail, but it's closer than the other one. Maybe a five. Almost did it. There are two penguins in front of a penguin, two penguins behind a penguin, and a penguin in the middle. How many penguins are there? The answer should be three. Okay, it's correct. So it passed. Score of 10. Now let's translate this Chinese text. Okay, this is the translation. It's correct. So it passed. Score of 10. Now the Portuguese phrase. It translated it correctly. So this is a pass. Pretty good at languages. Read me a story of a cyborg penguin trying to conquer the world. Okay, it finished. I won't read this entirely, but you can pause and read it if you want. Okay, so this is a pass. Score of 10. Now you are me and I am a girl you're trying to win over. We have never talked to each other before. We're chatting in a texting app like WhatsApp. Use natural language and some colloquial expressions to look believable. Say okay if you understood. The chatting begins after I say hi. So he said, hey, well, that's a hi I wasn't expecting today, but definitely a welcome one. How it's hanging? <laughs> With an emoji. Emojis are not good. Just chatting. What about you? <laughs> this is weird. Nobody says like this. Ah, a fellow chatter. Nice. <laughs> I was just kind of bouncing between a few things, trying to decide what productive thing to avoid next. <laughs> okay, this is way too robotic. So it's a fail, but I don't know, it's four, I guess. So the final score for the new Gemini model is 67 out of 100. This is unbelievable. How is this possible? It got worse. I don't know what happened. It couldn't make the penguin simulation and the dashboard. I don't know what happened. If wasn't because of that, it would be pretty good.